Hi everybody! Happy Sunday! It is Bethany here from Count Your Stitches. Good evening, how are you? I realized I forgot my glasses, so this all ought to be fun. Kind of me like looking like I used to. Um, I'm gonna share this on my personal page, so just give me a minute, please. Hope everybody's doing well. Oh, and there goes my clock, the chimes. We're pretty on time this evening. My gosh, I look different without my glasses already. I haven't even been wearing them that long. This is crazy. All right, let's share this. We've got some people hopping on. Make sure that you are saying hello in the comment section when you are hopping on so that we know who is here and we can hang out and craft together. Let me lower my volume so I don't hear my video. All right, so yes, say hello when you're hopping on. Hi, Mom! Mom is the first one, to, uh, the first one that I see. I think I have some other viewers though, so make sure that you're saying hello, everybody, please. And if you would like to let other people know about this video, I would love that and truly appreciate the S-H-A-R-E, please. So make sure you do that on your page and spread the love. I'm gonna give people, um, oh my gosh, yeah, you're gonna see me like squint this whole time. <laughs> Hi, Peggy, hello, thank you for hopping on. Um, you're gonna see me like squinting, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, make sure that you're saying hello in the comment section when you're hopping on so that we can all chat and hang out together tonight. Hello, Peggy, thank you for saying hello. Um, and then again, if you are super excited about this, please S-H-A-R-E on your page. Truly appreciate the support. Um, yeah, super excited about tonight's, um, craft. Um, tonight's water cup is brought to you by, um, Paw Socks. Love this one. We went to Dining on the Diamond twice this past summer. Um, and so they give you these like novelty cups, which are really awesome. 1970 to 2020. Love. Um, I was wearing a Paw Socks t-shirt yesterday, um, and we went to a yard sale. Was that yesterday? I think it was yesterday. We went to a yard sale and the woman's like, oh, well, you're going to go visit the Paw Socks in Worcester? I'm like, first of all, they're not the Paw Socks if they're in Worcester. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to let the heartache wear off first. Yeah. Boo, they did just, I know. I love the Paw Socks and not the Woo Socks. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. So, all right. So again, make sure that you are saying hello when you hop on. Again, my name, hello mom. Again, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. This evening, we are going to be making a Christmas stocking hanger thing, little banner, just like we talked about last week. Um, my gosh, guys, how cute was last week's, um, were last week's little snowman candles. I'm like still obsessed with those. I absolutely love them. Um, so again, make sure you're saying hi when you're hopping on. Who's hopping? Who do I see? I see Sarah is watching. Hi, Sarah. Um, so we're going to just get going right away. So I got these little stocking wood things. They're not, they're not very big, right? They're not, they're not that big. Um, I got these, um, at the Dollar Tree, just like those little, like, um, Christmas trees I use and everything. Um, so they came five in a pack. We're going to use seven this evening and you'll see why. So I had to get two packages. Um, and we're going to, because they have this little hole, because they come in a pack of five to make as ornaments. Um, and I don't want to make them into ornaments. So they come with a little hole in the top. So because they have a hole, um, I'm going to cover them in scrap paper. So um, I am going to be using seven different scrap papers. Um, who else is hopping on? I can't. Oh, Bob's watching. Hi, Bob. Um, I can't see. I should have got my glasses. But I'm going to use seven different scraps of scrap paper that I have, just Christmassy ones. So um, very easy. What we And this is a nice, easy shape to cut out, which I love. So I am going to, I just have to make sure I do it the right way. So I want it to go like this. Yes. So I'm going to trace this out very quickly with my mechanical pencil. Don't worry guys, I already did the other six ahead of time, so that way you didn't have to watch me do that for everybody. But yeah, so just to do this, I just trace it out, um, and then we're gonna cut it out, and then we'll Mod Podge them all on. Some people prefer to just Mod Podge a piece on first, and then like sandpaper it off later. 
I don't ever have good luck with that, ever. Um, so that is not what I will be doing. I just, you think I'd be able to, oh, it's because I'm trying to do this on paper towel. That's a smart thing. Um, no. Nah. <laughs> um, all right, so I just traced it out on the back and I'm gonna cut it out. Hi, Jenny, thanks for hopping on. Um, so again, I use, I'm gonna use seven different scrapbook papers because I, I think a while back I told you guys I got a bunch of scrapbook paper um, at Dollar Tree. Nope, that's wrong. I wish. Gosh. Actually, no, I don't because it's cheaper at the other stores. Um, at Joann's, they had it like, I think, I don't know, was it 10 for a dollar or something crazy cheap? Uh, and I went a little nuts. I think I got 40. Um, and so I got a ton of Christmas. So I was like, I need to use this. So. We're going to use a different scrapbook paper on all of the stockings. But yeah, so some people decide to uh, put this on first and then file it off after it's dry. I don't, or sand it off. I don't have a lot of luck with that. If you're using, if you're Mod Podging with like a napkin or something, that might be a little bit easier. Hello, Amanda. Thank you for hopping on. Hello, Shelby. Thank you for hopping on. Hello. I said hi to Ginny, right? Hi, Ginny. My goodness. I, lo I love, oh, isn't this Buffalo check plaid? I love, I love, love. This is like the end of the sheet. I've used it so many times. Um, so look, now we have our little stocking and um, I have, like I said, I already cut the others. So here are the others. Not this one, they're all, not all of them are plaid. This one. I love this one. This one's music. Um, it is the 12 days of Christmas uh, music notes. The whole page is the, is the sheet music for it. I love that. This one's a little Holly and the Ivy. Um, this one's cute. We use this back. We use another piece of this back when we made those um, paintbrush snowmen. And then that. So we have all different kind of plaid things. I'm super excited. And then obviously, I love that. Love, love, love that. Um, so yeah, if you're like Mod Podging a napkin or something on, um, that you might have a little bit more luck just putting the napkin on. Actually, I would recommend that. You can't really cut a napkin. So if you're Mod Podging a, a, a one-ply napkin on, just put the Mod Podge, put the whole thing on and then sand off the excess. But if you're Mod Podging something thicker like um, scrapbook paper, cut the shape out if you can. Um, if there's some really intricate little things, you could um, cut it almost exact. And then once it's dry, you could use a nail file to kind of get in those grooves. Um, that's another tip, but try to cut it out. So we have got seven of these bad boys, and you'll see why in a momentito. Thank you, Amy, for that one. I always say momentito now. My friend Amy always says that. So we are going to Mod Podge these down, guys. So we just got our basic Mod Podge. I work off the ones from the Dollar Tree. Um, super simple. And I'm just gonna, oh, guys, we're gonna have to go into the second bottle tonight, I think. All right. Ooh, all right. So I'm gonna grab a brush. And I have learned that Mod Podge is better when you liberally apply it. Um, I'd rather have more than not enough because then your paper doesn't stick and it's just a mess. I am going to Mod Podge on top too, I think. I think, yeah. To protect them. And guys, if it isn't perfect, it's okay. You know, I, I'm really bad at cutting. I don't know why. Um, for some reason, my, what are those, my fine motor skills with cutting are just not all that fantastic. So I'm going to do, um, I'm doing underneath and on top. I want to seal them. So let's get going on these. So, how's everybody doing? Let me know. Thanks to everybody who's watching. I'm so excited that you're spending your Sunday, well, part of your Sunday night with me. I love doing this. I, um, I've gotten better at planning this, so I, I'm like weeks ahead now of what I know I'm doing. That way I can tell you guys too, which is always exciting. Who else is hopping on? Gail's here. Hello, Gail. Welcome back, Gail. Thank you so much for hopping on again. We love new friends who join us. Thank you. Um, so yeah, so I can let you guys know um, next week we're going to make, um, we're going to use the little Christmas tree wooden ornament things from the Dollar Tree. Um, and we're going to make, we're going to use a little wood planks from the Dollar Tree to make some really cute, um, like just little hangers. I really like that. Hey there, happy Sunday is right. 
Um, but yeah, so I started kind of planning. And then after that, um, we're going to do a crochet hat tutorial. Um, so we're going to take like a, a crafting week off, if you will, but we'll still do a live, but it'll just be a crochet um, crafting one. I mean, a crochet hat tutorial. I figured since it's getting cold, well, not now, right? It would not be a Sunday Night Live if I didn't talk about the weather, right? Um, so it's not very cold right now. But it's going to get cold again. So we're going to need hats. So we're going to do a little crochet hat tutorial the week after next. Um, so get yourself a crochet hook and just some basic yarn. Nothing fancy. You can go to, the, go to Walmart, whatever. Oh, got a little bubble there. Oh, no, we've got a bubble. Yeah, that's okay. We'll live. We'll live. Um, and then after that, we're gonna take a little little Thanksgiving break. Then we'll do a few crafts in December. Then we'll take a little Christmas break. Um, and then oh, it's gonna be after New Year. Jeez Louise, this flu, huh? Um, so what did you guys do this weekend? Did we get outside? Beautiful weather. What happened? Tell me about it. We um. Trying to think, what did we do? We got a new little fireplace for the basement from Lowe's. Um, one of those like plug-in ones. Super awesome. Who's saying hello? Who's hopping on? Let me see. Oh, Lauren's watching. Hello, Lauren. And hello, Michelle. And hello, oh, and hello, Debbie. Oh my gosh, all these people. And hello, is that Sherry? Yes. <gasps> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Count Your Stitches. Live Sunday Night Crafting. Gail went to the beach. Holy moly. How was it there? That's incredible. Imagine that. So we had a snowstorm in October, and then we're going to the beach in November. Could you get any more New England? Absolutely nuts. I'm trying to think, what else did we do this weekend? I feel like we, we hit a few yard sales. I did a latte of crafting this weekend. Um, so, oh yeah, so let me tell you about this. Um, so last week I was saying a fair that I was going to be doing November 28th. Um, I'm still doing a fair on November 28th, but it's a different one now. Um, oh, I'm so glad the beach was nice, Gail. Hey, I mean, you want, might as well enjoy it while you can, right? Absolutely. I'm sure the water was super cool. I mean, I assume you probably didn't go swimming. Um, hi, we have one of those fireplaces too. It's amazing and great on the electrical. Absolutely. Um, cause our basement, it, you know, we don't really, that's our form of heat, if you will, for down there. And it, um, it's, it's perfect. I mean, it, you know, a basement's night kind of nice and insulated cause it's below ground. Um, and so it stays nice and cool in the summer and it stays nice and warm in the winter. So we don't really need much heat down there. So just having one of those plug-in fireplaces is awesome. We absolutely love it. Um, my parents got us one last Christmas and we use it in our living room. So we were like, this is perfect for the basement. Um, two more guys. <laughs> um, oh gosh, I lose my train of thought so easily. Um, but I'm glad that the beach was nice, Gail. Um, oh, Shugs, what was I talking about, guys? Help. This is why I have you guys. <laughs> oh. I changed out our decorations. I was going to go straight to Christmas and I, oops. Oh no, I moved it too far down and now I need to move it back up. No. Okay, I'm going to peel it off. That's always an option, right? Guys, I feel like I'm overtired this evening and I'm kind of going crazy, but it's fine. Oh man, this is not working out the way I need it to right now. Neither is this paper towel as my bottom. Usually I use paper underneath my projects. For some reason I went with paper towel this week. Not my best decision. We're running out of Mod Podge. Oh boy, guys, this Sunday night is going downhill fast. <laughs> oh, all right, let's take two on this, shall we? I'm gonna use two hands. I'm gonna do it nice and carefully. Get this going. There we go. Okay, we're on, guys. We're good. We're good. Get this unstuck from the paper. Okay. Oh, all right. So, yeah, we had some yard sales this weekend, which I think is kind of an anomaly that we went to yard sales in November. So, we're going to the beach in November. We're going to yard sales. Um, I can't take it. I want the cold weather. That snowstorm, 
I loved. Um, and I love wearing my boots and my scarves and my um, little like, what are those called? Ponchos, right? Ponchos. Love it. It's because, oh my gosh, thanks mom. I totally forgot about the earthquake. Can we talk about the earthquake? Um, oh, so those of you who, for wa who are watching from far away, because I know we have some friends out of, out of state, out of Mass and Rhode Island. Um, we had an earthquake today. It was a 4.0, which to me sounds really bad, but it didn't feel that bad. So I don't know. Um, someone, if someone knows more about earthquakes than I, um, please explain that to me because I feel like 4.0 is a lot. And I mean, the house shook, the house shook and Bob was upstairs, um, in the shower and so I'm like, I bet you didn't feel this because, you know, half the time I hear noises in the house and he doesn't hear them either. So I'm like, he's definitely not going to feel the, not going to feel the, the house shake because I'm always like, feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, so, oh, guys, I got my podge all over me. So yeah, I mean, at, at 9, 10, because I looked at my watch. I always look at my watch when I hear or see like things I think could be big. I think that's because I watch too many television shows and I'm afraid, you know, the cops are going to call and say, what time was that? Um, that you heard those shots or whatever craziness I think I hear. Um, so yeah, nine ten this morning, the house shook as I was sewing some masks. Um, and it felt like there was a train just chugging along in our basement. And it was, and it was only a few seconds long. Um, it was definitely not a long time. And Bob came downstairs and I'm like, did you feel the house shake? And he's like, oh yeah, there was an earthquake because he had already looked at his phone. I'm like, oh, cash, just an earthquake, you know. Um, my aunt said that we've she remembers an earthquake from another time, but I don't. Um, I just think that's incredible. So, all right, guys, Mod Podge, done. And that's all we have for Mod Podging. So I'm going to... Rinse off the brush, and I'm actually going to turn over this, um, this. Oh, gosh, it's a mess back here. Okay, we're going to do this. No, no, we're not going to do that. Hold, please hold. Please hold while I clean my workspace. Okay, good enough. Alrighty, so the Mod Podge is done, guys. We're going to let all those bad boys dry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so casual earthquake. Did everyone feel the earthquake today? What did it feel like to you? So like I said, I felt like it was a train driving in my basement. Um, and the whole house shook. I, I mean, it, like I said, it wasn't crazy, but just to, I, we don't live in an area that has earthquakes. We're not used to that. So just to feel your house shake, it was kind of crazy. Um, but what did you guys think? How did it feel for you guys? I know my friend Stephanie texted me out in, um, she's out in Plymouth County, I guess, technically speaking. Um, and she said her, it felt like her furnace was going to explode. I'm like, dear Lord. Um, I shouldn't leave that in there. Okay. So let's reveal. Oh, I know what I was talking about. The fair. We'll get back to it. Um, Lauren, like a loud truck driving by just for a few seconds. Yes. It was just a few seconds, like maybe three or four, but it was enough. Like I just, I look, I was sitting here and I looked and I'm like, the house is shaking. It was just nuts. I didn't feel it. Some things in our basement landed on the floor. No kidding, mom. I didn't even think to check if anything fell. I mean, nothing on the first floor fell or the second floor. I should look in the basement. Goodness gracious. Um, all right. So the reason we did seven, um, so I, so the reason we did seven is because we're going to put a word on them. So I love, um, Santa Claus, um, and all things Santa. So I love, I actually just got another Santa thing at a yard sale today. Um, like, so my mom loves snowmen and there's snowmen all over and for her house when Christmas and, and after Christmas. Um, and I love Santa. Santa is like, I, I just love all that. So I love all like the believe in the magic and all of that kind of stuff. So when I see stocking hangers for, I think Christmas, I think Santa and I think believe. Um, so, and cause I think the magic of Christmas is just the most beautiful thing. And it's not even just the whole, it's certainly not about gifts or anything like that. It's just believe in the magic of kind of that just spirit of giving that just kind of comes out during Christmas. Everybody's happy except for those who are stressed about shopping, but most of the time we're happy. Um, and so I just, hello, 
Hello. Oh, it's, oh, it's, what's happening on? I can't see it. My eyes, I can't see. This is horrible. Um, but yeah, I just think the magic of Christmas is just beautiful. No matter what you believe. I just think the whole season just brings out the best in, in everybody. So I want to use the word believe um, on our stocking. So that's why we have seven. Um, so I have these little wood letters. Let's just make sure that I spell it correctly. B-E-L. Oh gosh, help. You ever have those moments like you you think you know English and then this happens? Oh, <laughs> thanks, Gail. So I have these wooden letters. I get them from um, Walmart. I think you can get um, a smaller pack of letters at Dollar Tree, but I just happen to see these sometime, one time, so I got them. Um, so I have a pack of these. I am So I have Believe down here. I don't know if you can see that. I am going to paint them. I think I'll paint them white to go with what we got going on here. And I'm th I, I brought the black out too in case I wanted to do a little, um, like a little dry brush action. I'm just gonna do a little bit in my, um, I don't need a lot of paint, so I'm just gonna do a little bit in my cap here. All right, let's grab, and actually while we're at it, we're gonna paint some beads too. So, I had originally mentioned that I was, take a second to get your glasses. I know, I really should, Mom. I think I'll be okay. Um, so, I originally said that I was doing a fair on November 28th, um, and that one fell through, so I'm doing a different fair on November 28th, so at least I'm still doing one. So I've been crafting up the up the wadu to get things done for it, and it is going to be at, um, is it Hills Tavern or Hill Tavern? I think it's Hills Tavern in, um, is that, that's, I think it, that's Gloucester, technically speaking, Gloucester, Rhode Island, um, on November 28th from 12 to 5 um my cousin is hosting it and she said she'll be sending me a facebook um i think like event for it so as soon as i have that i will share it so everybody knows um concrete details so you guys can come visit if you'd like so i'm going to have a bunch of crafty stuff like you know this kind of wood stuff that i do i've been making a ton of christmas stuff um i've also made a ton of christmas masks that's what i was sewing this morning when the house shook um hills hills tavern thank you gail um so it's at hills tavern and is that gloucester i assume that's gloucester um and um so yeah i was making christmas masks this morning like different colors of buffalo plaid um and some christmas tree fabric it's adorable stuff um and then i will also have my entire stock of crochet items um i have a, a pretty big stock of scarves and um, just kind of like other fun things, like small stuffed animals or um, just fun little stuff that I've made. Um, so I'll have all of my kind of wood craft, um, some sewing craft, and then also my crochet stuff with me. Um, and then I hear there's going to be a lot of other great vendors. So definitely come out, do some of your Christmas shopping locally. Love that. Um, yep, perfect. It is in Gloucester. So again, when I get the Facebook event for that, I will um, share it on my business page. And then for those of you who are friends with me, my personal page. Um, so that way we can spread the word and um, have as many people come and shop local and support all of our great um, little businesses. Did I do my ease upside down? I don't think they go that way. Those look like they're backwards, but I don't know now, guys. Maybe they go that way. I think they go this way. Hold on. I'm just going to paint the back real quick. <laughs> Oh, okay. I got three E's. Hold on. Hold on, please. Please hold. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, but, yeah, I've been trying to get a lot of crafts done for the fair now because I have a ton of orders right now, which is awesome. Um, so I needed time. I wanted to get the crafts done so that I could get to my actual orders. I have some crochet orders. I have some craft orders and I'm loving it. All right, so guys, I painted the Believe in white. Um, and while I have white, oh, we got more people hopping on. Make sure that you say hello when you're hopping on, everybody. I see lots of new people watching, so thank you so much. Um, and for those of you who are new and who don't know me, my name is Bethany and I'm from Count Your Stitches. We do all sorts of crafts, sewing, wood, and um, crochet. So fun stuff. Um, we're going to paint some beads, too. I'm just not sure how many I want to paint. Let's see. 
I want to do these kind of on the end of the hanger on either side. I don't want anything to, I don't want too, too many. I just want something cute. Um, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, I'm gonna paint these white real quick too, since I have everything out. Um, and we're just gonna use jute to do all the whole thing. Let's see if I can do this without like totally, I don't know. I'm actually not gonna worry about full coverage because I kind of like the woodsy effect um, because we're using all this cool buffalo check. So, um, and I think buffalo check is kind of rustic. So if we go for more of a rustic coverage of the paint, I think that's totally fine. Alrighty. So what else were we up to this weekend? Did anybody, um, so I know we went to the beach. Where else did we go to enjoy the gorgeous weather? Last night we had mom's meat pie for dinner. Oh my goodness, is it delish? I like to think I can make it almost as well, not quite as well. Um, my husband seemed to scarf down mom's a little bit quicker than he does mine. <laughs> but I'll get there. Oh, I should have pre-painted these. I'm sorry, guys. That's okay. We can just chat, you know? I can't believe how quickly... I I think I've talked about this before. Like, the, the year... Um, you know, it seemed to drag in, in some ways. And then in other ways, I can't believe it's already November. Um, and which is just kind of nuts. Um, but anywho... Oh, I forgot to so, sew. Funny story. We got the fireplace yesterday and we got it from Lowe's. Good old Lowe's. And um, brought it home, like super excited to open it up, get it set up, you know, just kind of cross that off the, the to-do list. And um, we open it up and um, Bob takes it out and the whole bottom wasn't attached. Whole thing, whole thing, just like not attached. Um, so we had to try to attempt to get it back in the box <laughs> and then bring it back. And we did that this morning, got a new one, which was fantastic, which we got super lucky because they only had one left. Um, so it was meant to be, or as you know, Robert from Everybody Loves Raymond would say, meant to be. <laughs> um, it's funny because my, my mom, I think she, at least I remember from when I was a kid, used to like watching Everybody Loves Raymond. And I never really thought it was that funny. Um, and then Bob really loves it. And so I started watching it um, when I was with, you know, when I was with him. And I'm like, this is hilarious. And I was trying to figure out why did I not think it was hilarious before. And I discovered because I wasn't an, I wasn't an adult yet. Because when you finally are like going through some of the things that you see on the show and you actually understand them because it's your life sometimes um it's like absolutely hilarious so now we watch it all the time <laughs> and it's just funny how things i mean i guess that's how it works right speaking of tv shows um super sad about hearing about alex trebek it's um you know god rest his soul he's in a better place now without any pain but um very sad and Jeopardy will never be the same again. Just like The Price is Right was never the same after Bob Barker. Oh, but what's Shelby saying? Oh, Dad used to tell you about the meat pies. I know, they're amazing. And they're super simple to make. Um, but super simple, we'll keep that a secret. <laughs> uh, but they are the best French meat pies. They are the best. We tried that Hartley's pork pies um, one time. I think I was telling you guys about that. And um, they were like nothing compared, not that they weren't delish, but they were nothing compared to my mom's. Hello, Holly. Thank you for hopping on. Thank you for saying hello. How are you? Holly ordered one of those um, Disney home signs recently. Love that. I made one, I made it as a gift for like a housewarming gift for someone who loves Disney. And then um, 
lots of people loved it. So we, we made lots of those and I'm super excited. I actually think I'll make um, one or two to bring to the fair with me in a couple of weeks um, or a few weeks, I should say. Ooh. But yeah, oh, that was the other thing we did this weekend. I took down all the Halloween decorations. We took them down and then, um, and then we put up, we put up Thanksgiving. Like I said, I was going to go right to Christmas and then I figured, nah, I've got some cute Thanksgiving stuff. You know, let's go in order. However, I am listening to um, Christmas music. Um, especially like when Bob goes for swim, um, I like blast it. <laughs> and do you guys know that Light Rock 105 is already playing Christmas music? That made my absolute day when I discovered that. I am listening to it for the next few months because I just love Christmas music. Oh, thanks all. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Thanks for, thanks for saying hey everybody. Oh, my, um, the paint's drying on my fingers and now it's coming off on the, warm oh, last one guys, last one. Finally, we're almost there. You just spent like what, 10 minutes watching me paint wood. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so now that that one is done, I'm going to rinse that off. And our letters are definitely, there goes my manicure, huh? Well, I mean, I did it myself. <laughs> um, now that that is dry on the letters, I am going to take a small brush, keep it dry, and um, I am going to dip it in some black paint real quick. I'm actually going to put the black paint right on the paper towel because I'm going to wipe it off anyway, so... All right, and we're gonna dry brush. So I wanna dry brush, I just wanna give them a little something, so I'm just gonna kinda of go along the edges. Okay, it's a little bit more than I wanted, that's okay. I just wanna give them some, like, just a little bit of interest, you know? I don't know, can you see that? Is the light not helping us? So I just dry brushed a little bit, um, just to give them some depth. I don't know, I just, I don't love stark white all the time. Um, Oh, whoa, way too much paint, Billy. I'd have to put some white back on that one. Well, that's okay. It is what it is. I also love the look of um, when the edges have that darker color. Very rustic, yeah. We put a little bit a little bit too much paint on that one by accident. That's okay. That's totally okay. <sighs> so we're just gonna, still too much paint, goodness gracious. Okay. Yeah, so, um, we put all of our Christmas stuff out. We got these little um, Thanksgiving figurines um, from a yard sale. Dad found them for us. And we put them out. They're really adorable, actually. They're probably not politically correct, but they're adorable nonetheless. Um, and so we put those out. And then I put out, like, the nice placemats. And, um, you know, we went from having, like, a spider web um, tablecloth to... You know, like having the nice Thanksgiving ones. Um, and then who's hopping on here? Oh, Auntie Kim is hopping on. Hello, Auntie. Auntie Kim has been wonderful and has been displaying some of my um, my Count Your Stitches creations at her salon. Thank you so much, Auntie. She also cut my hair this week. It's pulled back at the moment, but it's precision, as she said. <laughs> um, but it came out fab. Figured I'd get it cut before the holidays, before they get super busy, because they are awesome. All right, so we are good. I think we are done with painting. We're going to kind of just glue everything together tonight. Guys, this one isn't very difficult. Um, it just you know takes a little time to do everything. Um, I'm just going to hit this with a dry real quick. Make sure all my beads are dry. Make sure my letters are dry. I think my stockings are definitely dry. Well, we got some more bubbles, shugs. Eh, it is what it is, right guys? Okay. So now I am going to unplug my heat gun. Got my little extension cord here. Hi, Holly, it's Renee, hi, Kim. It's precision. <laughs> yes, Sheer Imagination, Auntie Kim's Salon is the best. You can find them on Facebook. She and Shayna are awesome. All right, so we're gonna heat this bad boy up. I'm gonna show you how all the stockings came out because they're adorable. What's also nice about when you do the Mod Podge over the top, besides the fact that you can see all my bubbles, um, is it gives them like a little sheen. 
just again it protects them protects the paper um and so we've got seven of these bad boys and we are going to hot glue a letter on each one so i just have to decide which uh which what order i want to put them in all right so i really really love Oh gosh, I really, really love all of them. Um, okay, so some of them are darker and some, I have two that are lighter, so I wanna make sure I separate things accordingly. Um, okay, and we got a lot of plaid here, a lot of plaid. So, I would say the music one is definitely the most unique of them all. So I think I'm gonna put the music one in the middle because if you know me, I love music, sheet music. Um, I got it as a gift for the bridal, my bridal shower, I got this um, awesome, it was like one of my favorite gifts. It's the Star Spangled Banner and it's this beautiful framed um, piece of it and it's the sheet music for it. We have a room, um, it's kind of, I call it like the Americana room. My God, look at my fingers. Um, it just has like a lot of American flaggy type stuff in it because I like that. Like one of, it has, um, we have a picture of all the flags that the country's gone through. Um, so like from start to finish. Um, how many times the American flag has changed. So that's really cool. And then I have this framed Star Spangled Banner um, hanging up and it's the music, for, the sheet music for it. So anywho, I digress. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna switch out this one and this one so that we don't have too much. And we're gonna, those two are kind of similar. So we're gonna do that one like that and that one like that. No, we're gonna flip flop these. There we go. Okay. So now we have plaid, light, not plaid, a plaid, not plaid, a plaid, and not plaid, and a plaid. Perfect, okay. So, now, so these will just kind of sit on here. You should be able to see them on most of them. Yeah, B-E-L-I-E-V-E, -E -E, believe, yes, right? My God, it's just, I'm having a moment here, guys. Yeah, I think the dry brush came out nice. It just kind of gives a, makes it stand out a little bit. All right, so let's get to hot gluing these on with the brand new hot glue gun, Gorilla Glue. Love. I love when everybody says hello to each other in the comments. It's adorbs. All right, so let's get these glued on. Are we ready to glue? Yes, okay. Now I'm just going to put them right in the middle. You could also, um, if you don't have these wood letters, you could also, but again, you can get them at the Dollar Tree, so, and that's where you have to get the um, stockings anyway. So you will probably can get them, but if you don't, you can hand paint them, which I was actually considering doing until I remembered that I had these letters. Um, you could also use Cricut. If you have a Cricut machine, you can cut them out. Um, you could also use stickers, letter stickers. That would be really cute too because they sell them in all sorts of colors. So who has done a haul at Dollar Tree so far this year because they are killing it this year with stuff. They have the most adorable ornaments. I got these mini Christmas trees that I'm gonna put in these two little Santa buckets. Ow! Um, that I, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put in these two little Santa buckets, like a little tabletop Christmas tree. Um, they're absolutely killing it. I before E, yeah, thanks Gail. <laughs> I'm like struggling here. I promise I'm more intelligent than that. Um, but just when you're looking at it and you're making a craft, you know, you just, and everybody's watching you online, you get nervous, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been loving everything I'm getting at the Dollar Tree. I swear, I could go to Dollar Tree like every day. And I, I saw this meme, I think that's what it's called, a meme or a gif, gif, I'm not really sure. I feel like I'm not hip enough to know that kind of stuff. Um, but I saw one recently. So guys, I, can you see this? Can you see that? We got that going on right now, right? So those are done. Sorry, just tipping the tripod. There we go. I have to say it every time, right? <laughs> Me too, Gail. Um, oh, no. Gosh, I lose my train of thought so quickly. Um, oh, I saw this meme GIF thing that said... Um, I've discovered that buying craft supplies and actually making things are very, two very different non-related things. And I feel that way. I will go to Dollar Tree or anywhere, even the yard sales. Like I got a whole bunch of wood cutouts today. Um, Kelsey's on? Is Kelsey watching? What? So 
someone's got to tell me. Um, so I got all these like little wood cutouts at a yard sale today that I'm going to use for future projects. But I just love buying stuff to make crafts and then I just don't have time to make them. <laughs> Um, I just need to, I, w I mean, on the weekends, I've been doing a lot of crafting in the mornings, which is really fun. Um, so I'm just going to try to keep up with that because I really enjoy it. It makes me happy. Um, and it's, you know, a nice little side business, you know what I'm saying? So is Kelsey, where's, I, did Kelsey say hi and I missed it? Kelsey, are you watching? Someone's got to tell me. I, I, I think I missed something here. All right, so let's glue these bad boys together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them together with regular jute, no beads, and then I'm gonna do the two ends will have some beads on it. That's what I um, that's what I decided. So I'm going to flip these over now. Um, and I'll probably just glue them together straight and then they can hang how they hang. So I'm gonna try to space them out here evenly. Um, and I'm just going to hot glue some jute, the Dollar Tree jute, nothing fancy guys. We don't do, I don't do fancy. You know that, you know me now, you know me by now. Although I put a real shirt on guys today instead of like a Patriots t-shirt or something. And I put earrings on too. I tried to be Christmassy. <laughs> um, cause I was like, you know what? This is, this, I should, I should look, look nice when I do this. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's cut a piece that's going to be too long, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Yep, that'll be plenty. All right, we're gonna start right here in the middle. I'm just gonna lay a bead of glue. We're gonna need more glue in a hot second here. And I just use my finger that I lick real quick. All right, I'm just gonna grab a hot glue stick. Give me a second. I still want to know if Kelsey's watching. I'm so confused. Someone tell me. <laughs> All right, so that's the first one. Let's get the second one. Oh, thanks, Mom, for saying lovely. I just processed what you said. And I'm just going to glue across and keep it simple. I might reinforce this later, but for now, we're just going to go quick. All right, so again, I'm just putting a bead of glue across um, and doing the jute. I have no idea where I got this idea. I have to be honest. I definitely came up with it. Kelsey is watching. Hello, Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey, your star. Everybody's saying hello to you. All right. All right. And last one on this side. I should use one of those thumbs instead of like licking my finger, but <laughs> that's fan that's fancy to me. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. All right, let's keep going. So again, I'm just running a bead of glue across the back. And so when, if you made these like into ornaments, um, but you still wanted to use scrapbook paper, you would just have to cut out the little hole, obviously, but it's nice that the wood piece already has the hole for you. Um, but yeah, so Dollar Tree is killing the Christmas game this year, guys. Oh, I remember I was showing you, I was making that um, breast cancer ribbon wreath thing with the pink burlap. I went to four Dollar Trees and couldn't find any more pink burlap. So I'm like, this is going to have to wait till next year I, or, you know, spring when it comes out. I was so, so bummed. I wanted to get that done in October, um, but it's okay. There's always next year, right? All right. This is the last one for here. And just press it into the glue. Make sure we got it. All right. I'm not going to lift it yet. We're not going to reveal yet. Um... Oh, thank you, Kelsey. Thank you, Auntie Kim. Everybody's so sweet. I tried to be Christmassy tonight. I think I need to get a needle for this. Hold on, I'm just gonna get my yarn, my yarn needle. 
out of my little crochet packet here. Let's see. So everybody, reminder, in a couple of weeks, get your uh, crochet hook ready. We're gonna do, not next weekend, but the weekend after, we're gonna do a crochet hat tutorial. Um, just like an easy beanie hat. So get a crochet hook, like size I is pretty common. And, um, and get um, just some basic yarn, like Red Heart Super Saver in a color you like, um, or, and I suggest that because it gives you uh, it gives you more yarn. Um, and in two weeks, we'll do a crochet hat tutorial, okay? And next week, we're going to use um, little Christmas tree wood pieces just like these, but they're obviously Christmas trees. And, excuse me, and some wood planks from Dollar Tree. And we're going to make little hangers, which I think are going to be cute. And my plan for them, is that eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And my plan with that is um, almost like Grinch inspired. So I'm gonna use um, some scrapbook paper that I haven't used yet. And it's not traditional Christmas colors. It's more like bright greens and kind of bright pinky reds and stuff. So I kind of wanna do some Christmas tree hangers with those more like bright Grinch kind of, kind of Christmas colors. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about those. So that'll be next week. And then the week after that, we'll do a crochet hat tutorial. Um, and then we'll take a couple weeks off for Thanksgiving, especially cause we're going to do that fair on the 28th. So I'll, um, spread the word more about that fair when I get the info and, um, but it is November 28th at Hills Tavern in Gloucester, RI, um, from 12 to five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, make sure I paint the right amount. Um, and that'll be super fun. And then we'll do a few crafts. Um, in December, and then we'll take a little Christmas break. These are my scraps from an elephant I made the other day. Um, who's, who's logging on now? Oh, Robin's here. Hello, Robin. Happy, happy Sunday. Thanks for hopping on. Um, and I am just going to tie this. We'll do a few crafts in December, then we'll take a little Christmas break, and then we'll come back with the new year, guys. And I think I'm going to do straight Christmas through. Um, even when we're like right near Christmas, I think I'm going to do straight Christmas just so that everybody knows. Um, I have a ton of Christmas stuff, so I want to make sure that I use some of it. <laughs> Not that I can't use it next year, but all right, I'm just going to double knot this and stick a bead of glue just to keep it in place. Alrighty. Just to glue that bad boy in place. Alrighty, so I let that one dry and then I'm just going to double knot this one and then we'll be all done with this hanger and you can hang it on a mantle, you can put it on the wall, anything. Um, I'm super excited about this. Oh, sorry, yes. So our cousin, um, Auntie Kim, our cousin is doing a, um, I guess hosting a, a vendor fair up at Hills Tavern in Gloucester. Gloucester? Gloucester. Yes, Gail told me Gloucester. Um, I guess they do that. I didn't know. Um, maybe it's different this year. Um, and, wow, that's how I came out way better than this one. Um, so we're going to do so we're gonna do that fair. It's, I think it's 12 to 5. But, again, once I get the Facebook event, I will um, I will send it out so that everybody can see and I'll have a table with again all my woodcraft stuff all my sewing craft stuff again I have tons of um Christmas masks which I think are like really cute I figure if we have to wear them we might as well make them cute um and I have a few Patriots ones too and then my crochet stuff all my crochet stuff so if you need like a quick gift again do your Christmas shopping do local um are we ready for the the hanger stocking hanger reveal here guys this is going to be a little bit difficult because it's not all going to fit. But are we ready? All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. I know the words are backward. I know the word is backwards to you, but how cute is that? I love the different scrapbook paper. It's so Christmassy. I love it. So that's what we've got tonight, guys. All right. Oh. oh my gosh. 
Do you know how silly I am? Did anybody catch how silly I am? I don't know if anybody caught how silly I am. Because, did anybody catch it? <laughs> I glued them backwards. <laughs> the B is over here and we spelled B backwards. <laughs> Hi, Nana. Thanks for hopping on. Your granddaughter can't spell. <laughs> So guys, I'll fix this after. I did a quick bit of glue on the back. I'm just gonna flip flop them. Um, but it did come out cute, didn't it? <laughs> this is just so me though. So yeah, it goes B E L. It's spelled correctly, it's just backwards, but that's okay. Um, but anywho, so guys, that's everything for tonight. Um, so again, next week we'll do um I was wondering, but I thought it was the camera. I know. This is just me. It's fine. Um, just been one of those. Thank you, Gail. It is, I love it. I actually really love it. I'm just gonna switch them real quick and it'll take two seconds. Um, but anywho, so just remember next week if you want to join along, we're gonna use those little Christmas tree ornaments, um, and some wood planks from the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Lauren. Um, and you know, just some fun stuff. And, um, and then we'll do a crochet. Make sure if you want to do the crochet hat tutorial with us the next week, just get an eye size crochet hook. Um, and then just like Red Heart Super Saver, Cheap Yarn, Walmart, wherever you want to get it. Joann's and Michael's always have a sale, you know, or like a coupon. You can get it cheap there um, and join us for that. Um, I'm going to fix this now so that it's spelled correctly. I'm going to make this see you next week. Yay. Oh, I'm so excited, Gail. Yay. That's awesome. Send pictures if you do make it, all right? If you ever make any of the things we're doing here, send pictures. I would love to share them. Um, yes. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for spending part of your Sunday night with me. I truly appreciate it. Um, we will see you next week. I hope that you all have a lovely week. Happy Veterans Day, and thank you um, to those in your family. Um, and... Yeah, we'll see you next week. And always remember to count your stitches. Bye, guys.